Good evening, everyone. How's everyone? Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, so Happy New Year. Um, welcome to Scott's Scott's NBA Talk. I wanted to talk about... They talked about... They've been talking about this for years now. About, you know, changing the playoff format, kind of like, like how college basketball does 1 versus 16, 2 versus 15, and so on. Instead of having the 8 best in the West and the 8... eight Beast in the East is what I call it. The best 16 rec top 16 teams. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually would like that. I think it would be more fun. It gets sickening to some because some of these playoff matchups are boring. I mean, who really wants to watch? And no offense to these teams. Of course, this year they're not going to probably be there, but... Atlanta Hawks versus Washington Wizards. I mean, I'm sorry. This is that's not a really that exciting of a playoff series to me. Um, you know, and uh, Toronto versus Milwaukee. Though I like Milwaukee, I think Milwaukee's good. But uh, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking I, I like the idea of 16 teams because I don't like a team who's like say eight seed in the East, right? Maybe 37 and 45 or 39 and 43 getting in. Well, you got a team in the West who has 45 wins and they don't make the playoffs. Or 47. Was it Phoenix a while, a few years back when that happened? With Jeff Hornacek. He, I think, was like 47 wins maybe and they didn't get in or 43. I can't remember how many wins it was. But I looked at it. I wrote down the best 16 teams right now at this moment. And uh, I'll tell you the matchups after it's done, okay? Right now, the best 16 teams. Number one is Golden State Warriors. 36-9. and nine. That's an 80% winning percentage. Boston is number two at 34-11. and 11. That's a 75, over 75, 75.6%. Houston is three at 71.4. Toronto is number four. That's the team. No, I'm not even talked about them, and I need to. Uh, 29 and 13 at 69 percent. Fifth, San Antonio, 29 and 16 at 64.4 percent. The sixth best team, Minnesota, at 29 and 17. That's a 63 percent win percentage. Cleveland is number seven at 26 and 17, at 60, 60.5. Here's the one that came up. Miami is 25 and 18. 58.1. And they don't even have hardly a star. Uh, Washington is 9 at 25 and 19. I'm sorry, I have to look down. Um, at 56.8%. Indiana, definitely a shocker. I, I, I actually kind of thought they were going to be one of like top five worst teams this year and Victor Oladipo has really shocked me. He's coming alive and they're 24 and 20. Oklahoma City Thunder is also 24 and 20. I don't remember who owns the tiebreakers so I've been putting like so they're tied for 10th too. Milwaukee is 12th or 13th at 23 and 20. 53.5. Also the New Orleans Pelicans 23 and 20 at 53.5. Detroit is 14th at 52.4. 15 is either Portland or Denver. They both have won, have won 52.3%. Now, the 16 best teams, I'm going to list them real quick. I'm not going to tell you the records again, but uh, Golden State, Boston, Houston, Toronto, San Antonio, Minnesota, Cleveland, Miami, Washington, Indiana, Oklahoma City, Milwaukee, New Orleans, Detroit, Portland, and Denver. That's the 16 teams that would be in if playoffs were today. Now, I wrote the matchups. Golden State would play either Portland or Denver. It all depends on, you know, who's... I don't I don't know who owns the tiebreakers. I didn't really look. I need, I need a researcher on that, all that. But, uh, and then Boston would either play either Portland or Denver. I think that could be fun for Boston. If it's Golden State and Portland, 
forget it. Now, I think Denver, I'm not saying Denver will be Golden State, but Denver has beat them before. Um, Houston would play Detroit. I think Houston would win that easily. Um, Toronto would either play the Milwaukee Bucks or the New Orleans Pelicans. That Pelicans team with the two bigs and then Drew Holiday and Rondo, that would be exciting. Now, if only they had a small forward who's better. Um, that would be fun. And the Bucks, good. Uh, San Antonio would either play the Milwaukee Bucks or the New Orleans Pelicans. Minnesota would either play the Thunder or the Pacers. I think, I think Minnesota would win that. Except maybe OKC. I don't know. Against Indiana, I'd say Minnesota. Um, Cleveland would play either Indiana or OKC. Pretty sure Cleveland would win that, even though their defense has been garbage this year. Miami would play Washington. That one could be interesting. That would be an interesting matchup. I'd watch that one. Miami-Washington. So that's the 16 teams. What is your thoughts on that? Um, do you think they should keep it the way it is, the eight best, eight best in the West and the eight beast in the East, or should they change it and go 1 through 16? I mean, I kind of like it now, but I kind of would love to see them go 1 to 16. I don't know. I just think you'd have better matchups. I think you'd have better playoff matchups. You really would. And you wouldn't necessarily see Golden State and Cleveland in the finals again. You know, it gets kind of sickening seeing the same two teams over and over in the NBA finals. I mean, I'm ready for some new blood to come out there. Come on. Last time I think there was new blood was what? Miami and San Antonio? That's when I moved down to Orlando. So, I'd like to see some new blood. Um, so, would you change the playoff format or would you keep it? Send me your thoughts. Thank you. And um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Scott's NBA Talk, and thank you for watching.